On this worksheet, we have a little order form, and I'm going to use a VLOOKUP formula to get the price. And the products are all listed here on this product sheet. So we have the name and the price. So back on our order form, we're going to create a simple VLOOKUP formula, but I'm going to show you something that can go slightly wrong. It might not seem to matter at the time, but it can cause problems later if you try to sort this list. So here for sweater, we'll start in this cell and type an equal sign and then VLOOKUP and an open bracket. And now I'm going to just click on the other sheet and then go, oh, no, no, I have to start on the sheet where the items are. So I'm going to click on this first cell and type a comma. So that's what we want to look up. Then I'm going to go to the other sheet. Now is when I have to go over here and select that list of products. And we want that to be locked in place. So I'm going to just click in here and press the F4 key and that will put dollar signs there and there. So now that's locked in place. Now a comma. Then we have to say which column we want to get the value from and the prices are in the second column of that little lookup table. So I'll type a 2 and then a comma and we want an exact match so I'll double click on false and close that bracket and press enter. So it's telling us that the sweater is $15 and when I look over here that's correct. So I'll go back, and I'll select this cell, just double click on this corner of the cell to fill it down. So if we check the last one we've got a dress at $30 and that's the correct price. So everything looks fine and I'm going to over here use a formula just to show what formula is in column C where our price is. So this is a new formula from Excel 2013 so equals formula text and then I'll click on this cell close the bracket and we can see our formula now. So it's looking up what's in B5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and everything is looking in that table B2 to C6. And now, before I print this order, I'd like to sort these items in alphabetical order, just so they're in a nicer sequence here. So I've selected a cell. So on the Data tab, I'll click A to Z. And now it puts everything nicely in alphabetical order. But now the dress is $15 instead of 30 So something's gone wrong with our formula. And if we look at this printout of the formula, we can see that instead of getting the value that's in B5, it is looking at B9. Originally, the dress was down here in B9. The formula here in C9 was looking at B9. So when we sort it, it continues to look at B9 instead of changing to look at B5. That problem is caused by our sheet reference here. So to see how that happened, I'm going to create a formula here and just refer to cell B4. And if I type equals, and instead of clicking on B4 here, I accidentally go to this other sheet, and you'll see how it puts in the sheet name because we've gone to another sheet. And now I go back and, oh, I meant to do it here. So it's now picked up this sheet name. And when I click on B4, it includes the sheet name rather than just the reference. So I'll press enter there. If I don't go to the other sheet, if I just type equals and click here, it just makes a nice reference to B4, and that's what we want. If you have a formula that starts behaving badly when you sort it, just check that formula and make sure there aren't any unnecessary sheet references. So if I come in here and then take out this incorrect reference to B9, if I make it a reference to B5 as it should be. There's the $30. I'll copy that down 
and now I could sort them in reverse order and all the formulas remain correct. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can sort them A to Z and they keep referring to the cell just to their left. They're not trying to remember a sheet reference that they should not change. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.